Hi, my name is Sophia Thomas. And I'm Joseph Delisle. And we're both seniors here at LGHS and we've both done drama for all four years. The reason this show came to be is this was one of our projects that we had in dra our drama class and we got to write our own musicals. I was actually one of the main writers for Test Day and we're both student directing it right now. We would like to thank Mr. Arnold, Miss Rigby, and the librarians letting us film here and you guys for giving us all the support for, from all the pandemic that we've had in this last year. It has been really crazy, but drama's always fun and always crazy, so we're so excited to show you what we finally accomplished. And if you'd like to donate, there's a link in the description at the end of the video, and you can always send a check in. We hope you enjoy the show. I'm so, so sorry. I, I swear I left the house on time. It was just really traffic -y. Emily, Germany's economy's been hit hard. There are struggling Chileans that have dipped into their pension plans prematurely to deal with the pandemic. Please sit down. We don't have time to waste. Of course. Sorry. Sorry. traffic -y? Oh, shut up. Like, you've never slept in on a test day, hypocrite. Besides, I was up all night studying. I had like 17 cups of coffee. 17? Okay, like two. But I only got three hours of sleep. I've got to do well on this test. You have to, too. Yeah, but I don't have a D plus in the class. Come on, I thought we were supposed to be friends. Tough love is support. Whatever. Besides, I'm not failing. I'm just almost failing. Oh, I'm sorry. That's so much better. Whatever. Don't you have to get like an A on this test? Yeah, to get an A in the class. Shut up. Emily, am I boring you? No, sir. Sorry. All right. You know the drill. No talking until the end of the period. If you finish early, read. Or I have some coloring books in the back, though I don't expect anyone will have time to use them. Anyway, this is a state standardized test, but it's also acting as your final for each class due to our limited time in school this year. I expect the best from all of you. We've been working towards this all year. When you finish this portion of the test, please put it at the left corner of your desk. All right? You may begin now. Okay, I can do this. I studied for this. First up, history. Yeah, I've got this. I know this. And it's World War II. Okay, let's see. Pearl Harbor. Cool, cool. Executive Order 66. Very cool. Wow, this is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Douglas MacArthur. I know that name, I think. He was a war guy? Okay. Maybe I don't know who he was. He's a general? I think he was a general. That's right. What in the world? I know I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but this is too much. It is I, General Douglas MacArthur, the Beau Brummel of the Army. I don't know what that is. You know what? Doesn't matter. This is not real anyway. Goodbye, Mr. Figment. It was lovely meeting you, but I need to get back to my test. The greatest test of all is the test of brutal warfare. All right. Yeah. Sure. 
Okay. Listen, great opportunities lie to the east. The way to adventure and conquest is clear. That was uncomfortable. Didn't like that. And is that even east? American pride. This is ridiculous. I just need to get back to my test. Thanks, Mr. Figment. My name is not Mr. Figment. I am Douglas MacArthur, five-star general and chief of staff to the United States Army. I helped establish the Civilian Conservation Corps. Sure you did. All right. Wait, that was actually helpful. Do you think you could repeat that? My name is Douglas MacArthur. No, not that. The other thing. I helped establish the Civilian Conservation Corps. All right. I'm a guide to the youth of today, just as I was to my soldiers. Sure you were. Um, you were in the Pacific Theater of War, right? Correct. Who was the Japanese Emperor? I always get them mixed up. Hirohito. Cool, thanks. This is so weird, but I kind of like it. Do you have any more facts for me, Mr. Figment? I'm like halfway through my history section, and I'll be honest, I don't remember that much about World War II. How can you not remember the greatest war in American history? I don't know, it all sort of just blends together. What a shame. What an amazing patriotic spirit. Look, I just want to do well on my test. And you will. With me at the helm, we'll steer you to greatness. Could you be a little quieter? I got like three hours of sleep. <sighs> Baby. That's great. Just like, tell me about yourself or something. I was born to a military family in Texas and continued that legacy. I fought in World War I and World War II, where I was key to stopping Japan's advance. I was awarded a Medal of Honor for my war efforts. I fought in many campaigns. I was responsible for confirming and enforcing the census for war crimes. That's great. Thanks, MacArthur. You did actually help me with my history section. Do you know how I can get rid of you? Rid of me? Yeah. I don't need you anymore. Be gone, Figment! Wait. Bye. Okay, now that that's over, maybe I can take my test in peace. Alright, next up, science. I've got this. It's just applying what I know. That is, if I can actually remember anything. Birds? Oh, Darwin's finches. Another one? Just... Go away. It would really be easier if I could just take a test without hallucinating Darwin. Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to distract you from this silly little test of yours. I'm simply here to observe you. Okay, just don't get in my way. Very well. You can't dress yourself. It's annoyed. Your hair's a mess. I'm tired. Sleepless. Piece of paper. Something. Interesting. Enough already! You are completely and utterly failing at not distracting me. So if you please, either help me or leave. All right, what might you need help with? And while I may not reveal my theories to you, I am a master of many sciences. Biology, geology, natural science- Do you realize I know your theories of evolution with the finches and all that? I'm just forgetting the specifics. You what? My theories are not public knowledge. How'd you come to know such things? Dude, it's been like 200 years or something since you were alive. Your theories are common knowledge and widely accepted. They... they are? Yes. Oh, very well. Carry on with your questions then. Thank you. Okay, next question. Which of these answers is Charles Darwin's theory regarding evolution and natural selection known as descent with modification? And the answers are... Not that one, or that one. Wait, maybe- oh, Just give me that. How'd you get all this information? I just came up with this theory myself. Again? You're like 200 years old. Just give me the answer or give me my paper back. This is a timed test. I refuse to be spoken to that way. I am one of the smartest people alive and I will not be spoken down to by some little girl who seemingly doesn't know how to dress herself properly. Oh, come on! You are literally a figment of my imagination! I'm not talking down to you because you are literally a part of me. And, on top of that, I have technology now that would blow your mind. You can't say you're smarter than me just because you looked at some birds for a stupidly long amount of time. 
I'm wearing this because it's comfortable. The answer is B. Thank you. So, this technology, what is it? Can I observe it? Could it be? Sure. I can give you my phone to look at or something. Why am I giving myself my phone? This is a figment of my imagination. Emily, why in the world are you taking your phone out? I should fail you right now. Can you give me a good reason not to? I, I thought I heard my mom calling and then she, she said she'd call if, if my grandmother had died. Yeah, I was making sure my grandmother hadn't died. Emily, give me your phone. You can continue, but this is your last chance. You step out of line one more time and that's it. You may continue your test. Nice going, Nimrod. Shut up, my grandmother could have been dead. Get out, now. You have caused enough damage and I am not risking my test or my grade on some stuck up figment of my imagination. Well, that is quite offensive, especially because I finished the science section for you. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I mean, thank you. Bye. Brainless weakling. Okay, that's over with. What's next? English. I know English well enough. Okay. Julius Caesar. Oh, I remember reading that. All right, reading comprehension question. Does he sound indignant or discontented in this passage? Those are basically synonyms. That doesn't even make any sense. It's indignant. I would never stoop so low to be just grunt -led. Another one? What are you doing here? I don't need you. Hush! Everyone needs me. I just needed help with that one question. Go away. No, I rather think I will not. I can see why your friends wanted to stab you. How dare you! Oh, come on! Don't act so surprised. Eh, tu brute. It was obvious. Obvious? No one expected it. No one. All right. Just... Shut up so I can finish my test. Do not tell me what to do. What is inferred by the... Oh, easy. Easy. I would appreciate it if you would stop ignoring me. I don't even know why you're here. The others were at least helpful. I don't know if you're some figment of my imagination or I've gone crazy, but you were helping me. I am not obligated to do anything you want me to do. Then why are you even here? Why would I know? I am from your head. Oh god, have I actually gone crazy? Why would I know anything about you, as you are so evidently beneath me? What is with my brain and being so rude to me? First off, rude. Second of all, that wasn't even creative. You basically have the same personality as Darwin. Thank you. Unfortunately, I do not recall saying anything, anything of this sort. Alright, shut up then. If you're not gonna help me and I can't get my own hallucination to go away, I'm just gonna try and ignore you. Good luck with that, and good luck with this test. You clearly need it. Oh, don't you? Ha! You are cursed by the will of the world. I am here to save you. Fine. Help me. Sharpen my pencil. Sharpen your own pencil. What's the worst that could happen? Hello, Caesar. Brutus. No, no, no. I just want to take my test and you... You're not even in this section. You're not important. Who is this foul-mouthed wench and how dare she disgrace my name? Is she yours, Caesar? Have you taken another woman? What? How dare you insinuate such a thing? I would never, not even in the afterlife, bed with this... mongrel. Sure seems like you would. Oh. Enough! Both of you are acting like petty school children. I just want to take my test. Why are you being so annoying? I don't know, man. It's your brain. It seems like it doesn't want you to do this. Give me my pencil. Oh, look. The little girl is mad. <laughs> Give me my pencil, 
or I will stab both of you as many times as Caesar was stabbed. Plus one. I did not get enough sleep last night. It's okay. It's fine, Emily. You're not going crazy. Everything's just fine. I mean, you got your pencil after all. Shh. Emily, put a sock in it. Okay, how much time do I have? Crud. Alright, it's only a couple of questions. How hard could it be? Time! Okay, class. Section 5 is now complete. You don't have to read all this stuff verbatim, right? Please close your booklet and place it on the corner of your desk. You have now arrived at the writing section of the test. Please take the purple booklet, but do not open it until I instruct you to do so. You need to read the small paragraph at the top of the first page and then write a one-page response based on your understanding of the topic. You'll have 15 minutes to complete the essay. You may not return to any other portion of the test. Your time starts now. Oh, God. English is my worst subject. I'm barely passing. Are we allowed to use Google? Okay. Here goes nothing, I guess. Amelia Earhart. I read a book about her about a month ago. Okay, first sentence. She was a pilot. <clears throat> Not just a pilot, kid. Don't belittle me to such low standards. Of course you show up too. Do you even know what I accomplished? I was one of the best American aviators this world has seen. Who wouldn't want to be in the sky, off the ground, filled with people stuck in the repetitiveness of time? Do you even know what it feels like to have the wind sail by you? It feels like a dream. I hate that I've gotten used to this. Why is this what happens when I take a test? I saw my first airplane at a fair when I was 10. Love at first sight. But I grew up having a resolute interest in medicine, actually. During World War I, I worked as a nurse aide for the Red Cross in Toronto. There I helped with smaller medical tasks, like cleaning the wounds, assisting, and overall, holding down the fort. While I was there... It says here that you went to Columbia University for medicine? Was it really? It's nice to know I still have fans. But yes, after World War I, I went to Columbia University in New York and enrolled in pre-med. I still remember the first day I got on a plane, though. December 28, 1920, with Frank Hawks. I know I, brain I read a book about you. I know you're from my brain, but I didn't realize I had such good retention. Let's hope the information isn't wrong, I guess. What's this paper for again? Um... Read the selected excerpt below, then write a one-page response explaining how Amelia Earhart's achievements influenced modern culture. Hmm, okay, well, for starters, I showed that women can be whatever they want to be, or several things at once. While setting new records for aviators everywhere, I helped design clothes for the 99 that were advertised in Vogue. I was a medic, a pilot, a fashion designer, and promoted making your own path. Kinda cheesy, but alright. Seriously, how do I remember all this stuff? I didn't remember anything from Caesar. Well, I didn't actually like reading that. I drove my canary around the most. Oh, that's the yellow Kinner Airster plane I flew. I really need to take a nap after this. Twice, I tried to fly around the entire world. The first time with Paul Mance and the second with Fred Noonan. Noonan and I left Miami in June of 1937 and we got to New Guinea in 21 days. We made a quick stop to Howland Island and... And... I can't remember. I'm sorry. Just a second. My bet is you were eaten by coconut crabs. Those things are horrifying. I guess what matters more is the adventure, not the destination. That's a bit morbid, isn't it? Five minutes remaining. Why do they always get on the desks? Well, I think that's all I need. Well, I'm glad I could help you. Me too. You've been one of the more tolerable ones to help me today. Interesting. Well, I think that's it. I just should probably proofread. Well, if that's all you need, I'll be on my way. Because I think I'm running out of time. Pencils down. Just in time. Time's up. The moment you've all been waiting for. Okay, 
Close your booklets, put them on the corner of your desks, and please wait for me to come around and pick them up. No talking until I've retrieved all of the tests. Gosh, I'm really impressed with myself. I should do this more often. Oh, I forgot to thank you. Thank you. You are very much welcome. I assumed you aced the test through my telepathy help. Oh, shut up. You wouldn't believe what happened. You completed a test? For once? No, I saw... You saw what? Your grade in the garbage? Your life flashing before your eyes? Okay, okay. That's a little too much tough love. Whatever. What did you see? Um... It was nothing. Don't worry about it. What matters now is we are finally done. Uh, excuse me. Emily, could you stay after the class, please? Run. Run.
Hey guys, I'm actually gonna grade these. I was <laughs> You are cursed by the will of the world. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Ow, my butt. <laughs> Interesting. Well, if that's all you need, I'll be on my way. just got shot in the face because of you. Give me that phone. Oh, Emily, can you be a pain in the ass later? I'm almost to the next level. <sighs> okay, Emily, give me your phone. My daughter's always wanted one like that. You can continue your test, but this is your last chance. All right, cut. Emily, Germany's economy's been hit hard. There are struggling Chileans that have dipped into their pension plans prematurely to deal with the pandemic. Please sit down, we don't have time to waste. Sing that one, sing it. I give you them today. No, no. There you go. <laughs> Wait. Now, you have caused enough damage and I am not risking my test or my grade on some stuck-up figment of my imagination. Well, that is quite offensive, especially because I finished this time. <laughs> <laughs> Cinderville, you don't even- that wasn't even creative! You basically have the same personality as Dark. <laughs> I'm like- <laughs> And action. Okay, one more time. Just like that.